Hello guys, the markets are having a little bit of a sell-off. Honestly, it was a teaser. They they fooled us, okay? We saw the weekend pump come in and now we're right back down even lower than where we were prior to the pump, especially for our favorite meme coins, and that doesn't exclude turbo, guys. Trading at 203731 honestly looks like a beautiful fire sale right now. If you've seen the pump that came all the way up to 0 0.005 and you're like, "Dang, I wish I got in." Well, you better hold yourself accountable to your words because you're getting an amazing opportunity. What is going on? My name is Ro. If you're new to the channel, I cover the latest, the greatest crypto content, try to help you guys make a 10, 20, 50, or even 100x play in this bull cycle. I get it. I tried to do it alone in 2017, failed miserably in 2021, leveraged a lot of YouTubers and their knowledge to be able to do it. And now I'm here in 2024 trying to help you guys do the same exact thing. So if you're new, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my uploads. But one thing for sure I want you guys to realize is that I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I talk about in this video is just my personal opinion, okay? Uh, I don't want this video to be your last resource that you use. Let it be part of your research. But with all that being said, let's hop into today's video. Thank you so much, everyone, again, for joining me. Really, really appreciate you guys. Guys, this sell-off is pretty dang horrendous, okay? Almost a 10% sell-off in the last 24 hours. Um, but hey, on the bright side, the volume is back up 5%. Um, got, you know, crawled its way into 91st spot. And, you know, regardless of whether you're a fan of Turbo or not, when it's pumping or whether it's dumping, one thing that you do have to give it credit for is for always having volume, okay? The volume, whenever I've seen this thing, has always been, in, um, you know, under the top 100. And, um, you know, very recently when we've experienced a sell-off is when I've even seen the volume of Turbo drop below 100 million. Prior to having all these sell-offs, the volume for Turbo in the last 24 hours was always holding above 100 million. And these are things that exchanges look for. These are things that central exchanges look for because that is how they make money. Now, as you can see, guys, in the last seven days, we're even down 10%. And the story would have looked completely different if you were to ask me yesterday because we rose all the way up to that 0 0.005 mark, right? Or was this, um, this was on the 24th? This was three days ago. Maybe this was on the Sunday. I'm not exactly sure, but the price was looking a lot better yesterday, okay? It's looking a little bit sad today, and, you know, the only reason we kind of had this rally, which I kind of want to call it a fake rally, is because of the news that came out about, you know, the Fed chair, uh, Jerome Powell, saying that we're going to drop interest rates by 25 basis points, and... Because of that, we've seen a premature pump because, listen, here's the thing. The data at the time could be skewed. It could be altered. We never really know. You never really know the full picture until it is September time, right? So don't, you know, don't be dismayed, if I if I could say. Don't be fearful. Look at this as an opportunity for you to get in at lower prices because you guys want to fix your mindset to switch all these red days into green days, okay? Red is just a green, it's just... Or sell-offs are just red days in a costume because really what they're doing is allowing you to get in at low prices so then you could be able to make life-changing gains. There's no doubt in my mind, guys, that Turbo is going to cross a penny very soon. Now, can this happen in September? It definitely could. September could pick up. I'm not saying that, uh, you know, we're going to bounce back up to, um, you know, Bitcoin's going to 100K, but we could see a reversal come in this market during that time. You know, we should see because as summer ends, as July, August come to a close, we should see a little bit more money coming into the market. September time, people are going to be, you know, coming uh, back from vacation, coming back from cottages. It's fall season, not even just mainly September. September should be the start of it, but October, November, December, the latter half of this year, the last quarter of this year is what you want to look out for because these are going to be the most bullish months leading into 2025. And if, you know, if we don't see new all-time highs by the end of 2024, that is still okay because like I was talking about in my, my earlier video today where I talked about having an exit strategy, I told you guys, right? That, uh, okay, hold on. Why is this not working right now? Why is this not working? Okay, my buttons aren't working. Oh, there we go. I told you guys, right, that we are expecting to see a Bitcoin top come in around October, September, October in 2025, right? So if you look at the markets with a long-term outlook, getting in at these prices, guys, not just looking at it. Okay, let me get in now and see where it's at in a week. Let me see where it's at in two weeks. Let me see where it's at in a month. That is the wrong mindset to have in crypto. Crypto is the only vehicle that you can make life-changing gains in such a small amount of time. And people even tend to overuse that to the sense that 
they go like, okay i want to make as much money as i can let me make 100x in two months be realistic guys people make 20 percent um uh, 20% returns in two years in the stock market. This isn't traditional finance. So that the, so even though it's not traditional finance, it doesn't mean that you're going to make 100x in two months, right? You need to wait it out. You need to have a longer term outlook on the market. Six months, a year, two years, right? That is a play that you want to have. You guys want to be buying in the bear market. You don't want to be chasing pumps. You want to be buying when it's moments like this, when it's red, when nobody else wants to buy, when you know, all the haters start coming out and they start saying things in my comments like, oh, like, bro, Turbo's dead. It's a pump and dump coin. That is when you want to be getting into these plays. Okay, see, I have no idea why my thing is not changing here. Let me, let me fix this. Okay, two, one. Okay, so this is being very weird. Let me, um, picture in picture. Okay, sorry about that, guys. But um, you look at the chart over here. As you can see, the supply zone completely, uh, or the demand area that it was, completely wiped out by today's candlestick. We had that. Hopefully, this is not close below it because if we close, that could indicate a little bit more downward momentum. I don't think we should see that close. You know, if we do, then we have to go down to this demand area and then expect the buy pressure here to be pretty strong because it's held up really well. And again, if we drop down to 0 0.0029, 0 0.003 level, I'm going to be picking up some turbo as well. Now, again, if we don't close above it, that's great. That shows that this demand area is still strong, that there is a great amount of, um, buying here and that we will pump to the upside, right? Or even just move sideways from here excuse me there but uh, it really just could go two ways right no one's a technical um technical analysis guru nobody has a crystal ball no one knows what's going to happen but if it does happen then you guys know what to do now i always say this always preach it um, follow them on twitter if you guys are an owner of them september 6 is supposed to be turbo day we want to get the entire community involved we're going to be buying a lot of turbo we're going to be talking about it posting about it and just all that fun stuff now turbo is so different from every other meme coin and that's one of the biggest reasons i'm so bullish on it and again i come to you guys to say that if anything bad came out about turbo i will be the first one to talk about it okay as of right now nothing has changed okay it's just the way the market is right now everything is down right if we go over to cryptos right now i mean look in the last one hour in the last 24 hours everything is down it's all red across the markets right so again if this was the opposite if everything else was up and you see turbo down then i would be concerned but no guys we really need to wait for bitcoin to pick it back up again back down again under 60k it's just it's just the way the markets are okay you can't single out turbo for that btc dumping could get us under the six point or 0 0.618 and 0.7686 fib levels if it dumps and that's exactly what happened with turbo i don't make the rules i studied them fire sale though across the crypto board exactly that's exactly what it is guys just a fire sale right now possible scenario for turbo again we could we could dump down to 0 0.0038 i think that's where we are at the moment if i am not mistaken yeah so that's exactly where we are again guys we could even drop below to 0 0.003 and if we do i'm going to be backing up the truck aggressively and buying some turbo because i'm not going to be passing out on those levels obviously fellas i'm not a financial advisor somebody commented saying i was no i'm not okay i'm, I'm just a youtuber and i make these videos for entertainment thank you guys for 5,000 subscribers i love you guys i appreciate each and every one of you watching and again thanks for watching today's video smash the like comment what your thoughts are subscribe hit the bell and uh yeah god bless you guys and i'll see you in my next video peace out